In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to integrate Firebase with React Native Android app. So in Google, just type React Native Firebase and select this first option. And here is the documentation. First, you need to set up the development environment and we're done with this. Second, we need to create a new Firebase project. So let's press here to create a new Firebase project. You're gonna go to your Firebase Press on create a project and add the name of your project. For example, our name is Chatty Chatty. Okay. Let's press continue, continue, and continue. Let's select the default account for Firebase. This is for analytics. Okay. Let's create a project and wait until our project is being created. Now let's press continue. Our project is ready. And let's go back to documentations. First, this is for Expo CLI. And from now on, we're gonna use React Native CLI, not Expo CLI. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you get to this installation for React Native CLI. First, we need to install this package, React Native Firebase app. So let's copy this. We are using Yarn. We're not using npm anymore. We're, we are using yarn. So let's copy the second year and go to our project. And inside our terminal, just paste this command yarn add rag native firebase and wait until installation is done. Now our package has been installed. Let's go back to documentations. Let's scroll down. First, we're gonna set up it for Android. So first we need to get our SHA certificate fingerprints. So easily just copy this command, CD Android like this, CD Android Gradle signing report and go to VS Code and run this command to get our SHA certificate fingerprint, okay? Now we are gonna using our SHA for debugging. Later when we create our key store for Android, we're gonna generate our key store and SHA for key store for production. Okay, so let's copy any SHA of those. You're gonna notice that they are the same. Okay, let's copy one of them. And those are related for debug key store, not production key store. Okay, so let's copy any of them because we're gonna need it later. Now let's go to our Firebase and create our first Android app. So let's press here on Android here. And here the package name and it was app. This package name, you have to make sure it's the exact package name here from minapplication.kotlin for example. Let's copy it. It exists in many places. It exists in multiple places. Just copy it to make sure it's the same, okay? And you have to know that your package bundle ID is gonna be different than mine, okay? So let's copy it and paste it here. And this is the Android app nickname. This is the name that you're gonna display inside Firebase console. So let's name it Chatty Android. And this is the SHA, let's go and copy it. Let's copy it from terminal, this SHA, and paste it here and press on register app. Now let's press on download Google service.json. After downloading this file, you're gonna just go to VS Code. You're gonna just go to VS Code and inside Android folder, inside app folder, this app folder here, just drag and drop the file you downloaded. So this is the file from downloads. Just drag and drop it inside app like this, easily like this. And your file is gonna be different than my file, but it will be with the same name, Google services.json, okay? Now let's go to our documentation to see what to do next.
our two last steps we're gonna just need to add those two lines first this line let's copy it the class path let's copy it and go to android build.gradle so here inside android folder build.gradle you have to make sure of something you have to build.gradle if you just search here and you just type build your gradle you're gonna notice that there is build your gradle in android root folder and another build.gradle inside android slash app here in this file here this build.gradle and this build.gradle so be aware of this he said here inside android build.gradle just add this line of code so you need to add it in this file not this file okay this file inside the root android not inside app folder so let's copy it and paste it here like this and finally the, our last step is adding this line apply plugin google gms services so let's copy it and put it inside android app build.gradle not android gradle okay so we're gonna go to android app build.gradle here here android app build.gradle here and just import it at the top here like this now we are done with ios let's try to run our app so let's type cd dot dot to go to our root and just run yarn android this cd dot dot i just do it because i'm inside android folder if you opened a new terminal no need to add this c dot dot here okay because i was here inside android folder now our application are run successful and i think there is no issues because if there is any issue you're gonna see warning here at the down here and since there is no any warnings here so you connected firebase to your android app successfully